Science Central. Joseph and Lena Mandelbaum survived the tortures of Nazi concentration camps and the murders of their parents, siblings, and loved ones. Now, 65 years after the Holocaust, their son Sid is bringing them a gift of hope that some of their missing may one day be found. We have nobody on the cemeteries because our aunts and uncles and grandparents and brothers and sisters, everybody went. He set out to sample DNA in the form of cheek cells from the thousands of still living Holocaust survivors. He named the project DNA Shoah after the Hebrew word for the Holocaust and recruited geneticist Michael Hammer to collect and analyze the samples. Of the six million Jews that were killed during the Holocaust, two million were cremated and their remains are lost forever. But four million, their remains were placed in the ground in mass graves or small graves distributed throughout Europe. Hammer says identifying those remains is now possible using DNA matching software developed in the aftermath of 9-11. But for testing Holocaust survivors, time is of the essence. The average age of the survivor is the mid-80s. So if we're going to be able to construct a database of the survivors, we need to act today. If the database grows large enough, it might even link distant relatives and reunite scattered families. Mandelbaum isn't kidding himself about the odds, but his parents taught him the power of hope. Without a database, there is no hope of finding matching. With a database, there is hope. And we can't guarantee anything, but we do know the finality of the word no, but the possibility of the word maybe. I'm Brad Closa. Thank you.